Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have done something that I think even goes beyond most people's wildest expectations. So Nintendo did announce today that it sold 10 million copies of Scarlet and Violet in the first three days on the market. And this is big for a number of reasons. And one of those reasons is obviously because it's such a buggy game. How the hell did it do this? We'll talk about that and why I don't think the graphical glitches and the FPS really matter for the sales of this particular game. But what's interesting is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is now the second fastest selling video game of all time. You heard me correctly. You'll hear people today tell you, oh, it's the fastest selling uh, Nintendo exclusive game of all time. Yes, it is. Uh, you'll hear people say, not only is it that, it's the fastest selling exclusive game of all time. Yes. Yes, it is. It's also the second fastest selling video game ever released. That's insane. Now you might go, what the hell sold more than 10 million copies in three days? Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Theft Auto 5 sold 11 million in one day. So Grand Theft Auto 5 is on its own level. But the next game after that was Skyrim. And frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore. Call of Duty games are up there as well. Pokemon has outsold all of them. So yeah, Pokemon is the second fastest selling video game of all time. And that is insane. Now, it's not going to obviously sell Minecraft numbers or even the totality of all Skyrim sales at once or the totality of Grand Theft Auto 5 at 80 million, 90 million plus copies. No, it's not going to do numbers like that, clearly. But it could go on to become the best selling Pokemon game of all time. Probably not the best selling Nintendo game. You know, when you got Wii Sports packaged in at 80 million copies, you know, it's kind of hard to compete with that. But for a non packaged in game, it could become maybe the best selling one. It'll be interesting to see if it can cross the 30 million, 40 million mark. Gotta remember, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is way up there. I'm not so sure that it could pass that. But its sales are absolutely incredible. And I don't think the sales are going to really slow down a lot this holiday season. No, it's not going to sell 10 million copies every three days, but I do think it will be at close to 20 million by the time we get to the next financial update. So by the time we get to January, February, et cetera, I, I truly think this game could be close to 20 million copies. And I'm going to tell you why could be because you would figure, okay, that's launch sales, but now people are, some people are getting refunds, right? That's a story that's out there. Oh no, Nintendo's refunding Pokemon games. Well, Nintendo's refund policy hasn't changed because of the Pokemon games. It's not a special case. You have the ability to refund one Nintendo Switch exclusive game per account, uh, and that's been there forever. It's in their terms of service. And yes, you bought it digitally. You can get a refund if you've never taken advantage of that before. So this isn't a special program Nintendo's doing for Pokemon. It's just always been there. So when you're hearing stories about refunds, you're seeing the Digital Foundry video drop with all the glitches and, and problems. You go, how the hell is this the second fastest selling video game of all time? And on top of this, how the hell is this game getting away with it? And why, Nate, do you think it's going to continue to sell extremely well? Well, the reality of the situation is this. Most people who play Pokemon don't care about FPS and they don't care about graphical glitches. I know that sounds redundant. It sounds stupid. Why don't they care? Why don't they want a higher quality product? This has been said about the Pokemon fan base forever. Why don't they care? Why don't they want a, a, a product? This is a one of the biggest IPs in the world. They have all the money in the world. Why can't the Pokemon company delay games and give more time and do this properly? And how can you have Pokemon Legends Arceus be such a, a, a fundamentally better performing game and then have this come out and not, and yet it sells better? And I'll tell you why. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet fulfills the dream. You see... Pokemon is this multimedia juggernaut. And since I was a kid in the 90s, there's always been this dream of becoming the very best like no one ever was to catch them all, to become the champion, and to do so in a way that isn't force-fed to you. Pokemon games have been highly linear for a long time. It's why we haven't had a truly open-world game. Even Pokemon Legends Arceus is not an open-world game. So... It's interesting that this game is doing that. And it's doing this in a way that is making people pretty happy because the content in this game is what everybody wants. 
three different divergent sort of story things going on between the Titans. You've got, obviously got your race to become champion through the Elite Four and the eight gyms. And yeah, you also have another story here in Team Star to kind of go through. It's really fun to see these different aspects and the open exploration and like it, it's just a giant world to explore and have fun in. And this is the fundamental reason Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is doing so well is because this fulfills that dream, the dream we see in the anime, the dream we have playing the Pokemon trading card game with friends and openly doing that wherever we want. This is the dream. The dream for Pokemon has always been to be in this massive world where we can go anywhere, do anything we want and just do anything in any order we want and just have fun. And that is what this game provides. Regardless of all of the glitches, all of the issues, Pokemon despawning and everything else, the game has everything in it that people have been wanting, dreaming, and asking for in their minds for a long time. It fulfills the Pokemon dream. Now, some people will say these sales are an excuse for them not to fix the game. Supposedly, there's a patch coming next week. I don't know that the patch is really going to fix as much as we want it to, but supposedly there's a patch coming. But it is, I think, worth celebrating to a degree that a Nintendo Switch exclusive game that's obviously intended for children but probably being mostly bought by young adults is the second fastest selling video game ever. This is something I'm not sure we'll ever see again. I don't know that another Pokemon open world game in the future can top this. I don't know that we're ever going to like, it's kind of like the breath of the wild, right? Breath of the wild sold 25 million copies. I'm not sure we're ever going to see a Zelda game do 25 million copies again. And that includes the direct sequel and tears of the kingdom, which by the way, I think tears of the kingdom is a shoe in to become the second best selling Zelda game of all time. It'll sell over 10 million copies, but it's probably not going to sell 25. And it's kind of like when we had Gen 1 of Pokemon sell over 30 million, you kind of felt like that might never happen again. And guess what? It hasn't. Maybe this game does it. Maybe this game trumps that. But then you got to feel like, but can it go even higher than that? Are we ever going to pass what this game does? So we need to recognize at least the greatness and the specialness of these sales because it, this is just unheard of. To become the second fastest selling video game of all time. To become the fastest selling exclusive game of all time. That matters. We're not just talking fastest selling Pokemon. This is everything. It doesn't matter if it's like, you know, Wii Fit back in the day. It doesn't matter if it's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It doesn't matter if it's Zelda or Mario or you know any other IP that is ever launched for Nintendo. It doesn't matter if it's God of War. It doesn't matter if it's Halo. None of that matters because this outsold all of it. And that is just flabbergasting to be honest and i again the sales aren't going to slow down because even though the user scores are tanking it everywhere online and you're seeing all these uh glitch compilations and all this trending on twitter for all the bad performance most players i don't think care i have now talked to gosh Probably only over 100 different people who have played the game. And while there is a small segment of that 100, say about seven people, that are basically like, I'm trying to get a refund, I'm done with this game. The other 97 or 93, I guess, uh, yeah, they, they just don't care. They're still having fun. And the funny thing is I'm kind of among those people where I think it's inexcusable to release a game in this state, but also it's everything I've always wanted Pokemon to be. Almost. It's not perfect. There's some things that I wish they would do a little different, but for the most part, it's fulfilling my childhood dream of Pokemon, and I'm having a lot of fun. The content's really good. The story is really good. When's the last time we said the story of a Pokemon game is good? When's the last time a story even comes up with Pokemon as being like this positive thing? There's so much good that despite the frame rate, despite the glitches, People are going to keep playing. And there's been comparisons of this to Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 was also playable at launch, and you can beat the game. Um, comparing which one had the worst glitches or the worst problems, I don't know. But I can say that uh, while Cyberpunk 2077 did sell very well, this isn't so bad that Nintendo's going to yank the game off the eShop like PlayStation did. So I do think that this game is probably less glitchy than Cyberpunk, but also... Guys, 
This is the second fastest selling video game of all time. And it happened on a Nintendo platform in 2022. I'm just going to let that sink in for a while. Let that salivate this Thanksgiving. Remind myself how thankful I am uh, to just be in this fortunate position to, 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 to talk about this stuff with you guys. Um, and, and thank all of you guys for being here and for liking and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for giving me a little part of your day and have a good one.